Hello, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Linux Mint 18.1 Serena to Linux Mint 18.2 Sonya. So this is just to show to you, show to you that it's really 18.1. So let's close this. Let's first go to our screen saver. And make sure that it won't go off in the middle of the process, so I'm going to make it never. You can change it back afterwards to what you want it to be. And let's go now to our updates. Just press refresh. I'm running this in Wittlebox with 2 gigabytes of RAM and an i5 processor, but the process is the same. Depending on your hardware, this process will be quicker or slower. Yeah. But it's a very... I tried it once before. It was like super... I suspected like an hour, 45 minutes. It was done in 10 minutes. Which is amazing. So now we got... If you got updates available here, please install them first before moving on. Then you go to edit and upgrade to 18.2. And let's make this, let's say next, let's say next, let's say next. I understand the risk I want to upgrade. They say you don't have to make backups. Backups is always safer to do. Some other things might go wrong, like Things will not be familiar as expected, but it's a great operating system 18.2. Please check out my other videos which you will find in the blog to look at the 18.2 versions before upgrading if you are not sure if you want to upgrade or not. And this apply. Type in your computer's password, your login password. And now you wait. <laughs> this gonna take a few minutes, so I'm just gonna talk about the block first before. So let's say I think it's working. I hope it's working. Let's close this here at the back. There we go. So let's look at the block. As you can see, this is the official block on how to upgrade from 18.1 to 18.2. We are doing everything as written here. You will see because in the new 18.2, there's a new logging manager, Light DM. So with this install, they will not automatically switch over. So it is up to you. If you want to skip the old logging screen, if you want a new one, it's up to you what one you will choose. But you will simply do this by installing this and then you can remove the old one by running this. If you want to, it's all up to you. As they say, it's not recommended, but I will show you the process. And these are lots of nice comments. And yeah, so I'm gonna fast forward this. It's this my take one as you see. I'll be back in a sec.
<laughs> Wonderful. As we are now at this place, we just have to press replace. Every time when they ask replace, press replace. <laughs> it should only be once. And as you can see, we are basically finishing up with the whole process. The download took much longer than earlier today. I guess because I've done it over lunch time. And now more people is using it. That's okay. And as we are waiting up, I'm gonna fast forward it. I'm gonna fast forward this again, just to say. Oh no! Finish. Nice. They say please reboot, but let's first change the welcome. The welcome screen, the locking screen, the app that we are totally and fully up to date with Linux Mint 18.2. So we copy this, so open up a terminal and say sudo. You have to be an administrator user to do any of this. <laughs> Paste, press enter. Type the password, press enter. You would have noticed nothing happened while you're typing the password. Just type it and press enter. It's a security feature. Press Y, say OK, and then drop error button, and press OK, enter for OK. As you can see, this is pretty fast. And then we just after the words you can remove the the old one by just running this command. It's all optional. Re please remember. Sudo control paste. Let's move this a bit higher. Not away. <laughs> Y for yes, and let's reboot the system. Let's close up everything. The only thing that this method will not upgrade is your kernel. You have to do it automatically. Let's you have to do it manually. So that's up to you. 4.4, the current version of Kernel 18.1 was great and still great, still supported. But if you want the latest kernel, I'll just do a fresh install. If not, please look online and you will find the way to upgrade the latest kernel. But if it sounds scary, I'd rather do a fresh install. <laughs> you can see we are basically finishing up of the reboot. I'm showing everything. As I said before, I'm running it in BetterBox, that's why it looks a bit different, maybe. And as you can see, everything is new. Most of the time, new is better. What you looked at my previous videos about how 18.2 looks like, so you kind of know what to expect. Or you know, or you see somewhere else, or you just want the latest and crazy trust the Linux Mint team, and it's also awesome. As you can see, we are updated to 18.2, so now. Thank you for watching, see you later, and goodbye.